But, all right, Jay, it's crunch time for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, they've been struggling. There's no doubt they've lost six of seven games, but they're in it still. They're a game back, and everything they want is still there. They've been in games. They've played well, but to win this division, to get back to playing the kind of football they want, Baker Mayfield has to play better. He's had an interception in three straight games. He can't turn the ball over as much. All right, the other story, and it's a big one in the National Football League, James, the ever-changing world of the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, they're a little more than a, a game back. They are out of it at 1-10, and ten, but what they needed was they needed a consistent voice to take over as the head coach. Chris Tabor does that. He has Thomas Brown, who is the off-again, off-again play caller and he's zero to us about how Chris Tabor has kept this team together during a really tough time by just being himself he said he's loose but at the same time when he speaks he commands the room now Tabor told us after the initial shock of when Frank Reich was let go he had to focus on how to keep this team together so he said to this coaching staff we're one in ten we know who we want to be we just got to find ways to figure that out guys yeah they also said it's a it's a kid's game Let's have fun while playing it. And Carolina won the toss. They deferred. So Tampa Bay will get the football to start things off. Devin Tompkins back deep to receive at the goal line. And here we go. The Panthers and the Buccaneers are underway. The ball will bounce into the end zone. And Tampa will go on offense for the first time. Baker Mayfield and the rest of the Bucs need a solid game today. Yeah, they certainly do, and the thing that will get them that solid game will be getting the ball to Mike Evans. 20 for 30, 199 yards in last week's game. Rashad White will start things off in the backfield for the Buccaneers. Keep an eye on him. They might try to get him involved a little bit more. He's been so good in the pass game. And motion is off. And on first down, they give it to White. And White powers his way across the 30. Shy Tuttle eventually makes the tackle, but it's a gain of eight yards. All right, so let's take a look at this Tampa offense led by Mike Evans. And, and I think Mike Evans really benefited from his years with Tom Brady because when I talked to Mike at practice, he said, I'm kind of interested in cementing my place in NFL history, and he's already started to do that off to a terrific start and he is tough to cover and he takes coverage to his side almost every play and remember they received some good news today when chris godwin was active and he just had his first target and it's only his second drop of the season his first one came last week well and that was a tough pass a little bit behind him but he's got such great hands tom brady told me one time that he had the best hands of a guy he'd ever played with you know and so to have him back out there opposite mike evans is huge for this team Devin Tompkins just checked back in. So third down, third and two. 40% on third downs so far this season. Middle of the road in the National Football League. A third down and two. Mayfield dumps it off out of the backfield. Tompkins, and he's got the first down. He shuttled right at the marker. Gross Matos made the tackle. It's a gain of two. So it'll be first down for the Buccaneers. He just barely got it. Yeah, I don't know about you, but when I see the ball thrown five yards behind the line of scrimmage, I know that runner has to get there. It is so tight, so close. You know, the red flag's not going to come out on the opposing sideline, but that looked like it might have been a little bit short. That was really close. Green 80, green 80. Did he say green eggs? <laughs> If he did, I didn't hear anybody say hand. Uh, first down, they hand it off to White. White running left, spins up close to the 39-yard line. All right, so let's take a look at this Panthers defense. It's been ever-changing this week. They get three important pieces back this week. They do get important pieces back. So what they want to do is they want to win on first down, and then that will force Tampa to throw on second down. They blitz as much as almost anybody. Six in the NFL at blitz rate but only pressure at 29%, which is worst in the NFL. Really what they're trying to do and what we want to watch is when they blitz, they're trying to give Derrick Brown and they're trying to give Burns one-on-one -on -one matchups against the Tampa offensive line that's been struggling. Yeah, Burns just checked out of the ball game. It's a four-man front for the Panthers. They're showing blitz in the middle and a little trick play for the Buccaneers. Trey Palmer will get the run play and a first down inside Carolina territory. Deion Jones made the tackle, and it's a gain of 12. 
And Jay, when you have those fast flow linebackers, they start running in one direction and that change of direction, you can't catch back up to him. I love Tristan Worth running out front, big number 78. He's just thinking, who's going to try and stop me here? Mm. Yeah, and he and the rest of this offensive line for Todd Bowles, they've been a little maligned, so that was good to see. Again, the Buccaneers have not scored a touchdown in an opening drive this season. They came awfully close last week. On first down, they run it again. White. And right. White lowers his shoulder and gets one. It'll be second down and nine. Derek Brown, who Jay talked about, made the tackle for the Panthers. Now, this Panthers defense, it's had a solid year, despite the fact that they've won just one game. Yeah, they're fifth in the NFL in passing yardage, sixth in total defense, fourth on third down, as you talked about earlier, Tom. There are areas where they're good, where they need to be better, they need more pressures, they need more turnovers. They would tell you in their defensive room, we need more points from our offense. Well, that's true. Pass is complete to Auten. Flag comes in late, and Auten's got a first down for the moment. Luvu makes the tackle, and I wonder if Rashad White did something. He's got his head down. Yeah. Pass interference. Offense. Number one. Ten yard penalty. Second down. Yeah, so it is against Rashad White. Well, when we were talking to the Panthers, they said two things. Number one, take Mike Evans away. Number two, take away Rashad White on those check downs. So they're going to be focused on those two guys as their primary focus throughout this day. Well, that penalty, and this is part of what Baker Mayfield said, too. These last several weeks, they have not capitalized on the other team's mistakes, and they've made too many of them. And penalties have been a big part of it, according to Mayfield. They give it to White, and White gets close to midfield. Bamo makes the tackle. Now you get to your, your packages. You bring in that dime package for the Carolina Panthers. Four pass rushers trying to get after the quarterback. Just bringing four, especially when it's third and 13, that allows you more time to get to them. And you don't want to go soft zone and give them holes to throw the ball in. Eighth play of the drive. Green 80. Like third down and long pressure's coming. Middle of the field pass is complete. Trey Palmer. Nope, now they're going to say it was incomplete. He had it and then dropped it as he went to the ground. Troy Hill in on the coverage. So the streak continues. No touchdowns in the first drive. It was going to be well short of the first down, even if he did make the catch. It was a, a curious decision by Baker to get rid of that ball quickly and go so short of the first down. You know, they didn't go to Mike Evans on that drive at all. There was a lot of single high coverage, one-on-one -on -one coverage outside with Mike Evans, and not once did Baker Mayfield go to one. So Smith Marset back deep to receive. Camarda on the punt for the first time for the Buccaneers. Puts a high snap, and he just got it off. That's actually a pretty good punt considering the pressure. And a fair catch is called. All right, Tampa Bay did not get anything on its first.